Hello, Internet people. We're back with uh, more pharmacy calculations in this series. We're going to go over this nice little black and yellow frame um, and go through some pretty hard questions, actually, this time. Before, they were quite simple at the bottom of the hierarchy, and now we're just kind of working our way up. So first off is question number one. If 400 milligrams of potassium chloride is dissolved in 2.5 litres of water, what is the percentage strength of the resulting solution? Okay, I'm going to give you a second to try and uh, do this one. You can pause the video now. But basically, when I see this, I'm thinking 400 milligrams in 2,500 mils of water. And it's asking for a percent. So you've got milligrams and mils. So they are on the same kind of uh, level. Working out in your head, you know that the answer comes out to be B which is 0.016%. So question two, you're asked to advise on the dose of immunophilin for a one-year-old child who weighs 22 pounds. So you've got to know your imperial weights and the conversion, although it tells you there at the bottom, one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. The doctor wants to dilute 500 milligrams of aminophilin in 500 mils of glucose 5% and ask you to calculate the infusion rate. Yeah, right, I'm sure a doctor's going to do that. The pharmacist is going to do the, the hard work there. Given that the pediatric dose of aminophilin is 1 milligram per kilogram per year, which of the following is the correct infusion rate? So where do you start with this? You start really with the dose. So you've got to convert the 22 pounds into kilograms and then multiply it by that figure and then you'll get the dose per hour. The answers are per hour as well. You've also got to think about the concentration of the solution in that 500 milligrams in 500 is going to be the solution that you apply. And this is the answer, it's answer B. The infusion should be set at 10 mils per hour. So next up we have question three. A 62 year old non-obese patient weighing 70 kilograms requires a loading dose of uh, drug X. Which of the following is the most suitable intravenous loading dose of drug X for this patient? So you need to know your pharmacokinetic equations for this. Um, there's certain attributes like volume of distribution and therapeutic range which you need to plug in. So the answer looks a little bit like this. It's answer D. Question four is about a woman who presents a prescription for a daughter who's four years old. It's written as two anti-epileptic agents. Um, as liquids, 150 milligrams BD for carbamazepine, which is otherwise called Tegretol, and sodium valproate, 200 milligrams in 5 mil, 250 milligrams BD. Which of the following is the correct volume of each syrup needed to supply a four-week supply overall? So you've got to think that the carbamazepine has been given 150 BD, so that's 300 milligrams per day. Per week, that's going to be 2,100 milligrams, which is approximately 2.1 grams. You kind of do the same calculation with the so sodium valproate solution, and then you pick which is the correct answer. In this case, it's C, which is carbamazepine, dose 150 milligrams BD, um, and then sodium val valproate is going to be 350 mils. So that lines up to answer C quite well. And that's it. That's all our pharmacy calculations. We do have a book which is coming out, um, out on Amazon now, actually, called The Ultimate Guide to Pharmacy Calculations. So check it out if you have time.